you know, four months earlier, you said you came to Goa because you thought there was no political alternative. You wanted to present that with the TMC to the people of Goa. Yeah. But somewhere down the line, four months later, uh, many would suggest that uh, you turned around and you wanted to ally with the same party you wanted to replace, the Congress. You see, when we first came, like I told you, people perceived Congress uh, from a position of weakness because of what happened in the last election. Like I have seen on social media several um, press meets on behalf of the Indian National Congress, whether it's Mr. Surjewala, whether it's Mr. Chidambaram, whether it's Girish. But till today, the Congress party has not been able to give the people of Goa a plausible explanation as to why they could not form the government despite having the numbers. They are talking about environment, they are talking about the culture of Goa, they are talking about the corruption of BJP. But the first question that the Congress party is actually facing on the ground that what went wrong. Today, I believe uh, Rahul ji is coming on the 4th. All the candidates are going to take a pledge that we are not going to defect. I mean, you must have seen it on their uh, digital platform. But the question is, you got 17 MLAs who did not defect on day 1. What was... Uh, what were the people who are at the helm of affairs doing? I think the pledge needs to come from those people that this time they will not mismanage it. Then and that's a big question in the minds of Goan people. Then you, uh, uh, sorry. No, no, complete, complete. See, today, like I said, when we first did our ground survey, the narrative vis-a-vis -vis the Congress was, it's no point giving them uh, the kind of mandate that they got last time because they literally threw it away. And... You should have Mr. Falerio come on your show sometime and ask him what actually transpired despite 17 seats and a letter that was signed and ready to form the government. Why did that letter not reach the governor? That's the question Congress needs to answer. And unless they answer that question, there will be a big question mark right till the 14th of February, which Congress will face. There are questions that emerge as well, where Mr. Falerio backing out of fighting an election for the TMC is concerned, but we'll come to that later. I'll come back to the question of the Congress. If the Congress is such a weak link in this election, then why publicly want to ally with the Congress? You, the TMC, made it very clear that they wanted an alliance uh, with the Congress. The Congress turned you down. We came fighting with our full might. I mean, four months back, I had friends coming to Goa. I myself hadn't joined the team with Mohua. And people saying, my God, Trinamool is the only party on the ground with their Griha Lakshmi, you know, uh, campaign, with their Yuva Shakti campaign. And there was no other party on the ground apart from us. Now you say, why did you approach the Congress for an alliance? As we went closer towards election, there, there was a view, there was a view on the ground that... The fight against BJP may be stronger if TNC and Congress had some sort of an understanding. And Congress was consistently building up this narrative against us that Trinamool Congress is going to divide the votes and Aam Admi is going to divide the votes. I mean, go back, you know, a month and you will see that was their narrative. So we came clean. We are very clear. Our fight is with the BJP. And if, if people felt that Congress and TMC having some sort of an understanding which strengthened the opposition. We are not arrogant. So we said, okay, fine, let's talk. But Sushmita, that is still what the Congress says. I had uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala here just about five minutes ago uh, before you. And that's what he said, that what the, Cong what the TMC, or even he said the Aam Aadmi Party, what both these parties have done is, you have muddied the political waters of Goa where you'll be nothing else but a spoiler. You see, it's, it's reeks of arrogance when a party says that another party coming and fighting it out on the ground doesn't matter which party it is, it's a spoiler. Going by those standards, there are only two national parties in the real sense who have spread across the country. That means no third party can come up. Do we keep waiting for Congress to defeat BJP? No, we have every right to come and fight here. But in the fight, if we feel... If we feel that we could, we should open the doors to talk about an alliance or any other understanding, it's in the greater interest of Goa to defeat BJP. So for the Congress should have come four notches down. I mean, you are yourself saying that, oh, you, we are dividing the vote. These parties are being spoilers. That means you are accepting the fate. That itself is an admission of the fact that we are a factor. So what is it What is it the Congress wants, that everybody should pack their bags and go? No, they're not no, open the, to an alliance. Okay. So what the Congress is saying is that uh, your reality check was the Congress in 
you know, it was a reality check for the TMC, but also on the strength of the Congress in Goa. And with you coming in right now, you have muddied the waters in terms of splitting the vote as such, because you are presenting an anti-BJP picture. You've been a co-in charge here. You know how small the margins are on each seat. So you're small going to, seat. yes, yeah, these, the margins are small. And in midst of all of this, the BJP will, will walk away. No, I think, I think it's a very unfair argument on the part of the Congress if they are saying so. See, please understand, I again want to say that with the Trinamool com Congress coming on the ground in Goa, it has actually injected dynamism into the opposition politics. Congress was lying dead. Please believe me, Congress was dead. We came and we injected dynamism, dynamism into the Goan thing. But yes, there was a narrative building up against us by the BJP and to some extent by the Congress saying they're not willing to talk, they're being spoilers. So we said, look, we are willing to talk. That's all we said.